I am the kind of person who saves all my old crusts. I put them in a bag, and then when I collect enough of them, I make my own breadcrumbs. Why? Because it's so much better. And this pasta dish is all about the breadcrumbs. Don't wimp out, make your own. It's so worth it. Here's a little breadcrumb lesson. The reason you wanna make your own is because homemade, they're fluffier, they're lighter, and because you're using really good bread, they taste so much better. Next best thing, if you don't have time to make your own breadcrumbs, is you can buy panko, that's Japanese breadcrumbs. They don't have as deep a flavor, but they're pretty good. Here's what not to use. This bowl of sawdust, I mean uh, breadcrumbs, it looks like sawdust, it tastes like sawdust. I'm gonna toast the breadcrumbs in olive oil. They're gonna get crunchy, but they're also gonna take on kind of a toasty flavor, which is really nice. Once your oil is hot, I'm going to add anchovies and garlic, and I chop them up together. And then just a little bit of crushed red pepper. And you just wanna cook this for a minute or two, just so the garlic starts to cook a little bit. It'll be fragrant, and also the anchovies are gonna break down. By the time I'm done with this, you're not even gonna know there are anchovies in here. The breadcrumbs are just gonna taste really good. And you can see that the breadcrumbs absorb that oil really quickly. Now you just wanna keep stirring them until they toast, two minutes tops. I'm squashing it all flat. I'm gonna do one layer and I'm gonna let it toast and that gives it a nice, even toasting on that one side. Everything you've ever wanted to know about breadcrumbs but were afraid to ask. Okay, these look good. Put them right back in the same bowl. You can make these a little bit in advance if you want, a couple of hours. Don't make them too far ahead because then they start to get soggy and you do want them to be somewhat crisp. Now I'm gonna boil up my spaghetti, or you can use other pasta shapes too, but what's nice about spaghetti is that they have nice long strands and you can get a lot of this yummy breadcrumb mixture all around them. So every bite is like half breadcrumb and half pasta, which is great. So now I'm going to attempt that cool YouTube trick. Have you seen it where you separate the eggs using a plastic bottle? I've seen it on TV. I've never done it myself. Ah, it works! Oh my God, look, did you see that? It just went right up in here. And now we're gonna use the yolks. While the spaghetti is cooking, I'm just gonna whisk together a little sauce. I've got two egg yolks, and then I have just regular old hot sauce, any brand you like, and Asian fish sauce, just to accentuate the anchovies. And just give it a little whisk. And now the pasta's almost done, I'm just gonna take out a little pasta water, two tablespoons or so, plenty. And now I'm gonna add my pasta. Toss all this together. I just wanna distribute the egg mixture all over the pasta. And this looks good. Now I'm gonna add my seasoned breadcrumbs. And I've got some fresh parsley here. This looks a little dry to me, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of this pasta water. There we go, that looks good. Now I'm gonna put a little more oil on the top. Use your good stuff for this, by the way. And then serve this with lemon wedges. And then that's it, see? So next time, don't toss your stale bread. Make your own breadcrumbs and you can make this gorgeous pasta too.